There are creatures whose larval stage is far more famous than their adult life. And among them stands the Antlion, a tiny being that, at first glance, looks like nothing more than a grain of sand, yet hunts with ruthless precision beneath a thin layer of soil. Down there, the Antlion lives with patience, with cunning, and with a mastery of survival that rivals any predator. They do not run to chase prey like lions, nor soar at great speed like dragonflies. Instead, they wait, unmoving as stone, but deadly, like a hunter's trap waiting to be sprung. If you're fascinated by these hidden predators, don't forget to subscribe. Every click helps bring more of these untold stories to life. The creature we know as the antlion is, in truth, just one stage. The larval phase of an insect that undergoes complete metamorphosis. Its life is split between two worlds, two identities almost impossible to reconcile. As a larva, it is a monstrous underground predator, fat-bodied, fierce, and unable to move forward with ease. But later, after a mysterious pupil stage, it transforms into an adult imago, delicate, fragile, with netted wings like those of a damselfly, a being of air, short-lived, driven only by a single purpose, to continue the bloodline. This cycle from sand to sky is nature's masterpiece. Like the video and subscribe if you want to keep uncovering how the smallest beings hide the grandest secrets. Life for the antlion begins almost invisibly. It starts as a tiny pale egg, carefully laid by the mother. She searches for dry, loose, sandy soil, protected from heavy rains and the direct burn of the sun. For here, one day, the larva will carve its deadly trap a funnel of sand that turns chance encounters into certain death. The female deposits her eggs, one by one, scattered across several sites. Ensuring that at least some will survive, the egg stage is short, lasting only one to three weeks, depending on heat and moisture. Inside each fragile shell, the embryo grows, preparing for the most dominant, the longest, and the fiercest stage of its existence, the larva. The larval phase is the true chapter of the antlion's life, the chapter that makes it legendary. And if you want to witness more creatures like this, hidden, mysterious, and powerful, make sure to subscribe now so you never miss the next journey. This larval stage is the longest in their life cycle, lasting anywhere from one to three years its duration is shaped entirely by food. If prey is abundant, the larva grows quickly, ready to pupate within a single year. But when food is scarce, it slows its metabolism to a near standstill, surviving in a state of semi-starvation for years. Stretching this stage to three years or more. If you find this survival strategy fascinating, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more hidden stories of the natural world. From an almost invisible egg, the antlion transforms into a miniature killing machine. A newly hatched larva is only a few millimeters long, yet already equipped with instincts and anatomy built for hunting. It is in this stage that it earns its fearsome title, the Lion of the Ants. Its body is perfectly engineered for a predator that hunts from beneath the sand. Oval, segmented and stout, built to sink beneath the surface with ease, but its most striking feature is the head. Flat, armed with enormous curved mandibles, hollow like syringes, and lined with inward-facing spikes. These serve two purposes, to seize struggling prey and to inject venom before sucking out the victim's life fluids. Even its legs are built for this life. They push the body backward, allowing the larva to dig efficiently into the sand. That peculiar way of moving gave it its Indonesian name, 
Undur Undur, the creature that only walks backward. Its entire body is covered in stiff hairs pointing forward, acting as an anchors in the sand. When a powerful prey tries to escape and drag the lava out, these barbs hold it in place, making resistance nearly impossible. Throughout this period, the lava molts several times, usually three. Each time it grows larger, and so too do the deadly pits it digs. Deeper, wider, designed to trap even bigger victims. This stage is relentless. The lava lives entirely beneath or just at the surface of the ground, its entire existence devoted to one thing only, the hunt. If you don't want to miss, how these silent killers set their traps, make sure you're subscribed, more is coming. To capture their prey, the antlion lava constructs a trap like no other. A perfect cone carved into the sand with surgical precision. It begins by selecting the right ground. Dry, loose grains where nothing binds together. The lava traces a circle with its body, then spirals backward ever tighter toward the center. Its flat head acts like a shovel, flicking sand outward with sharp, sudden movements. Grain by grain, the pit takes form. Every motion a masterpiece of patience and design. If you're amazed by this level of natural engineering, don't forget to like and subscribe. More of nature's hidden killers are waiting. The lava digs until the walls of the pit reach the critical angle, steep enough to collapse at the slightest disturbance, yet stable enough to stand on their own. Too shallow, and prey would escape. Too steep, and the trap would fall apart. Here lies the brilliance, a weapon disguised as simple sand. Once finished, the lava buries itself at the very bottom. Motionless, only its menacing jaws exposed. From above, it vanishes into the earth, a silent assassin waiting in perfect stillness. It can remain like this for days, even weeks, without food. Absolute patience is its greatest ally. When an unsuspecting ant or beetle steps near the rim, the trap awakens. The walls crumble underfoot, pulling the victim downward into the waiting jaws. If the prey tries to escape, the lava launches volleys of sand blasting the walls so they collapse further, dragging the victim back to the center. And when the prey finally slips within reach, the jaws snap shut like lightning. Curved mandibles, barbed and hollow, pierce and lock in place. For the victim, there is no way back. And once the prey is captured, what happens next reveals the true savagery of this predator. Through hollow canals inside its massive mandibles, the antlion lava injects a lethal cocktail of enzymes, a biochemical weapon designed with precision. These enzymes serve a dual purpose. They paralyze the victim almost instantly and then begin to dissolve its organs and soft tissues from the inside out. The lava doesn't swallow its prey whole. Instead, it lets the enzymes do their work, turning the body into a pool of liquid nutrients the digestion process may take minutes, sometimes up to an hour depending on the prey's size. And once the transformation is complete, the larva simply drinks its meal. Its hollow mandibles act like straws, sucking every drop of liquefied tissue, leaving behind nothing but an empty shell. With a sharp flick of its head, the husk is tossed aside, clearing the trap for the next unsuspecting victim. Efficient, merciless, and ready to hunt again. The larval stage is the longest in the antlion's life, and in this stage, they are relentless feeders. Every meal is fuel, every victim another step toward transformation. Because one day, they must gather enough energy to survive the pupa stage and emerge as fragile winged adults. And yet life in the sand is not always generous. Prey is not guaranteed. When hunger strikes, the antlion lava reveals one of its most extraordinary abilities. It can drastically slow its metabolism, 
By doing so, it can wait in silence for months, almost hibernating, surviving with no food at all. If you're still with us, fascinated by this hidden predator of the sand, don't forget to subscribe. Your support keeps us exploring nature's most astonishing secrets. But perhaps the strangest adaptation of all. The antlion larva does not have a functional anus. Metabolic waste is stored within its body and only released once in the form of a dark pellet called meconium just before it pupates. This adaptation keeps its trap clean, ensuring no scent warns potential prey or attracts dangerous predators. Not all antlion larvae build funnel traps. This iconic behavior belongs only to certain species, particularly within the genus Myrmelion. Many others follow a different path. Their larvae are free hunters, moving across the forest floor, slipping through layers of leaves or hiding inside rotting wood. Instead of constructing complex traps, they rely on camouflage, agility, and quick ambushes to survive. If you want to continue exploring predators with such unique strategies, remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next chapter. Once a larva reaches its maximum size and has gathered enough reserves, it begins the most dramatic transformation of its life. It burrows deeper into the sand, retreating from the surface in search of safety. There, it spins silk threads from special glands, binding grains of sand and particles of soil around its body. The result is a spherical cocoon, strong and perfectly disguised, within which the larva becomes a pupa. The pupal stage may look silent from the outside, but inside an extraordinary change is underway. The bulky larval body is dismantled and rebuilt into the elegant shape of a winged adult. Guided by powerful hormones, this metamorphosis lasts about a month. Subscribe to keep following these hidden wonders of nature, where even the smallest creatures hold the most dramatic secrets. When the transformation is complete, the adult antlion, now called the Imago, breaks free from its sandy cocoon. Slowly, it digs its way to the surface. Emerging into the open, it climbs onto a branch or a leaf. There, its soft folded wings unfurl, stretch, and harden, preparing it for its brief but vital life in the air. The adult antlion looks nothing like its larval form. Its body is slender, with long antennae ending in a slight club, and two pairs of delicate, transparent wings. To the untrained eye, it may seem like a dragonfly or damselfly, but it can be distinguished by its unique antennae and its weaker, trembling flight. The adult stage, called the Imago, is surprisingly brief, lasting only two to four weeks. Unlike the larva, it no longer lives to consume endlessly, but rather for one ultimate purpose, reproduction. Most adults are active at dusk, dawn, or during the night. They feed on nectar, pollen, or soft-bodied insects, though feeding is secondary to their true mission, finding a mate and passing on their lineage. For the female, this means laying eggs, to begin the cycle once more. After that, their extraordinary drama of life comes to an end. If you find these hidden life stories as fascinating as I do, don't forget to subscribe and stay with us for more. Though small, the antlion plays an important role in nature and even in human imagination. As larvae, they are efficient predators of ants tiny spiders and other small arthropods, helping regulate populations on a micro scale. Their digging also contributes in subtle ways to aerating sandy soil. At the same time, they are prey themselves. Birds, lizards 
and predatory beetles hunt the larvae beneath the ground, while the fragile adults are easy meals for birds, bats, spiders, and other winged predators. Beyond the ecosystem, the antlion has also captured a place in folklore. In many cultures, including in Indonesia, the sight of its neat little sand funnels is part of childhood memories. Those tiny craters, so common in village yards or sandy paths, often sparked curiosity and stories. Even the name Undur Undur reflects close observation of its backward movements in the sand. Subscribe if you want to keep exploring more creatures that, like the antlion, hide incredible dramas beneath their small size.